Hey guys, what's up? It's iJevin. How is everybody doing? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I've got top 5 resource packs in Minecraft for 1.7.10. I chose 1.7.10 because not a lot of resource packs are actually updated for 1.8 just yet. Remember to stick around towards the end of the video for question of the day and the Geminator challenge. As well as, don't forget to post in the comment section below for which top 5 you'd like to see next. Let's go ahead and get started with today's video. Coming in at number 5 for top 5 resource packs is Painterly Pack. If you've been playing Minecraft as long as I have, you know that Painterly Pack is probably one of, if not the oldest texture packs in Minecraft. Now, I can't do a top 5 resource packs without adding Painterly Pack in just because of how sort of legendary it is. I remember collabing back in the day in 2012 with PBAT and using the Painterly Pack for our videos. It's just that pack that's been there for so long. It's been a part of so many legendary videos for Minecraft on YouTube. It has to be included. Uh, I do like the pack actually, and there's tons of ways to customize it. Actually, speaking of customizing, Almost all texture packs are customable nowadays, but Painterly Pack was actually one of the first texture packs to ever offer the customization option. Uh, and this was back in 2012 before any of these websites really even had the option to do that. So it was sort of groundbreaking in the fact that uh, not only was it the first texture pack or one of the first texture packs, but you also had options to customize it, which a lot of texture packs didn't have at the time. So for number five, I chose Painterly Pack. Coming in at number four is John Smith Legacy or just the John Smith texture pack in general. Now I chose John Smith as number four because when I very first started YouTube, uh, towards the 2011 era of videos, there was a lot of people starting to use texture packs. And a lot of people such as like Monkey Farm and those types of people were using custom John Smith texture packs. And it was a lot of fun to watch those types of videos because there, there wasn't really ever that kind of RPG feel uh, in Minecraft. It was always been default or the Painterly pack. So this was like, I don't want to say groundbreaking for every texture pack, but it was awesome because it was really just a lot different seeing Minecraft in a different light at that time. So coming in at number four is John Smith Legacy. Coming in at number three on top five resource packs is Doku Craft Lite. Now, DokuCraft has been personally one of my favorite texture packs for quite a long time. I've used this texture pack for many years on different projects such as Season 2 Premiere, uh, which was a four-hour video in Minecraft, and lots of things like that, a lot of collabs with this as well as just building projects. Uh, this is another texture pack that gives you sort of that RPG feel, but this texture pack actually has a lot of different customization options. Now, the person who made this Doku was originally the author of it, but he gave it up and it's like an open source now, so it has its own customization. Plus, it's got four different styles of texture pack. It's got high, light, Doku Craft normal, and light. I think I said all four right, but anyway, so this texture pack goes back a long way as well. Um, and it's just, it's, it's really one of those uh, original legendary texture packs that a lot of people used. Um, for just different cinematic videos, which is awesome. So, uh, coming in at number three is Doku Craft Lite. Coming in at number two on top five resource packs is Faithful Pack. Now, you can't do a top five resource packs without Faithful because Faithful is probably one of the most popular texture packs to date. I can think of so many people who use this on their Let's Plays and in videos and mod reviews and but I mean, it, it expands so far that it's in Feed the Beast as well as any other modded plus vanilla plus the snapshots. And it's just, a, I mean, it's so well known that people almost expect it in every single video rather than the default texture pack. And for that, it earned a spot as number two. I personally love this texture pack a lot, but there is one texture pack that I actually prefer over this, which made it number one, obviously. But uh, as far as Faithful goes, there's a 32 version and a 64 version. I like both of them, but the 32 version is really well done and has been for a long time. So coming in at number two is Faithful 32. Now for your number one resource pack, in my opinion, is R3D Craft. And this is by far my favorite texture pack in Minecraft. And there's a lot of reasons for that. 
it's sort of like the faithful texture pack where it expands default and a lot of people like the default texture pack so when you're playing minecraft if you use something that's closer to default there won't be a lot of complaints but the r3d craft actually takes it a step further and gives that detail that a lot of other texture packs don't give there are two different versions smooth realism and default realism and they go all the way up to 512 uh, which is just amazing because I, I like to use 128 for my version, but this texture pack it, it has it all for me, you know, has all those little custom details, it has tweaks in there, and it's really just a great texture pack overall. So my pick for number one texture pack is R3D Craft. All right, guys, I want to thank you all for watching the top five resource packs in Minecraft. Now, obviously, there's a couple things I want you to put down there in the comment section below. First off, what is your top five resource packs? Which ones do you like the most? And as always, for next episode, what top five should I cover? Now, question of the day is, what is your favorite texture pack in Minecraft? I love to know these questions because it gives me a good gauge as to what I can use in the future for videos. Now, Jevenator Challenge for this video, we did good last episode, so I'm going to expand off that and we're going to move to 419 likes, guys, because I ain't a big fan of 420, you know, hugs, not drugs. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so I want to thank you all for watching and... Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and check out the links in the description for all these texture packs. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Remember, a big smile goes a long way. This is iJevin.